In this video, I'm going to explain to you how to not die buried under a pile of old miniatures. If you're watching this video, you probably have a sickness that I share with you, and that is uh, a love, if not at the very least an interest, in wargaming and the models that really make up the majority of the whole kind of hobby. We love little tiny plastic soldiers or pewter soldiers, or some of us might like resin, I guess, not fine cast, you know, but like regular good resin. But the thing is, is that, and I've talked about this in the past, it's very interesting because you can very easily, to some degree, specifically time, it's much easier for you to buy a new model than it is for you to cut it apart, sand off all the little jaggedy bits, glue it all together, prime it, texture the base, prime it, and then, um, and then paint it and then seal it. Just buying a model, that's easy. You get this sort of, probably some sort of little endorphin rush by like, ooh, sweet, I got this sweet new model, cool. And you know, granted, it takes time for you to make that money and we all get paid differently and that's fine. But the fact is, is that when you do have money in your pocket, it's very quick and simple for you to buy a new model. But it's the next steps that you're kind of staring down the barrel of that have a tendency to cause the problems. I suffer from this exact same issue. I have a basement, which is frankly nearly, it's okay, it's not actually full of models, but it is, it has a crazy amount of models in it. Let's just say that. Let's just put our cards on the table. I have an astounding amount of models down in my basement um, for Games Workshop product, for uh, Mercs, for Oh my God, I can't even see. This is this is part of the problem is that eventually, if you've been doing this hobby for a while, you start to buy so much stuff with good intentions. You're like, oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna use that, you know, in some such and such game down the road, or it's just, this is a great deal. I found this and it's awesome. And I'm gonna, you know, I know that I'm gonna need this down the road and it's great. I'm so happy that I found it. The problem is, is that you keep doing that over years, decades, and then you end up with an astounding amount of stuff in your, hobby room, basement, crawl space, whatever, wherever you keep your models. I was listening to a podcast recently and the podcasters were talking kind of about this, but what they were doing was they were saying, well, you know, it's fine to have lots and lots of models, but more of them should be painted than not, which I totally get. I have no problem with owning lots and lots of models that you've at least painted. At the very least, you can put them in like one of those little cool, you know, $65 Ikea cases the Detloff, Deltoff, something like that. And I've got one, but I can't remember what it's called. And you can just at least stack them in there and then, you know, at least enjoy them or people can come over and you'd be like, well, take a look at all of my lovely painted, you know, models or whatever and uh, impress your friends or not. But the fact is, is that if you just have a box after box after box of unbuilt, in many situations, unopened models, that doesn't impress most people's friends at all, as it turns out. Worst case scenario is eventually you get old and die. Hopefully not actually crushed by a pile of models, but you get old and die and then your spouse has to figure out what to do with all these damn models and maybe try to sell them, you know, so that you can be properly buried, I guess, and not just, you know, be left on the lawn to be picked at by birds. I assume that's what happens if you don't like pay to bury somebody. I'm assuming it's just birds come, but, it may be different in your county, whatever. You shouldn't just constantly strive to buy more models without at least very, at the very least, working very hard to paint the models that you have. I am obviously far from the guy who can say to you, oh, definitely you should not buy any more models anymore. You should only paint up all the models you have and then only buy new ones to paint them. I'm not that guy. Here's a photograph that shows you how much I'm not that guy. I don't like showing you this photograph, but here it is. Um, as I'm saying this here at the recording, I haven't shot the photograph yet. I'm gonna get done with this here in the studio, go home, shoot that photograph, and then edit this. But I can already tell you that in my mind's eye, I can see the photograph and it kind of sucks. It sucks that I have that many models just sitting there, 
just sitting there. That's just not good. So I am trying to make a change in my life and I think that you got, you should also think about doing it as well. And that change is sell a bunch of models. You know, the, the internet has given us this thing called eBay. It's also given us friends. I don't know if the internet necessarily gave you friends, but I'm just saying that there, you have friends you could sell stuff to. You know, someone who's just been like, yeah, I've been thinking about getting into modeling for a while and all this stuff. And you're like, well, if I get a deal for you and get some of that stuff out of your basement. The reason that you want to get rid of some of this stuff, besides the fact that it just takes up tons of space, which you may have tons of space, it doesn't matter. But it, I think that at least for me and maybe for many of you, it it sort of, I don't want to say it psychically drains me because that sounds loopy, but the fact of the matter is, is that it psychically drains me to just think about how many models I've got down the basement and how long, like if I just painted nonstop eight hours a day from now on, no vacations, would I ever get them all done? I mean, maybe, I guess, but it would take a lot of time and I have a job and things I like to do. So, you know, it's difficult to be that far behind the eight ball and to be looking at that much product in your basement. And it's just best to start to at least make the effort, start looking to whittle it down. And that's what I'm doing. I'm starting to put things that I'm like, you know, I bought that six years ago. It's been sitting in this drawer. Someday I might, might, might all of a sudden be like, you know, I could really use one of those chronoscope, uh, you know, models from the Reaper line that has the guy with the gun and the helmet, I should go find out where that is. Now, first of all, A, if I can even figure out where the hell it is, that's problem number one. But problem number two is, is it really going to be that big of a deal? Really? Is it really that big of a deal that you have so much stuff in your basement or in your whatever room, your garage, let's say, on the roof of your house? I don't care where you keep it. Probably not a good idea to keep it on the roof of your house, most likely. But the fact is, is that there's just so much and, and, and so many people that I talk to are always like, oh yeah, I got a lot of models in the basement. Oh, if you know what I mean, I got a lot of models in the basement. And, um, you need to, it, it I, you don't have to, I'm just saying, this is what I'm doing. You might think that this is also a good idea. Pare it down. Definitely look at putting it on eBay. Now, some people will look at it as like, well, I'll sell all this stuff that I don't want on eBay and then I'll be able to buy a bunch of new stuff. I would say to maybe not do that. You know, you could take that money and maybe put it in a little savings account so that when something really cool that you know you're going to paint like right now because you really want it, when that comes up, boom, money shoots out of that little account and now you have yourself a brand new doodad that you're going to paint. Or maybe you're going to take that money and invest it. Or maybe you're going to, I don't know, spend it on candy. I don't know. But just, you know, this is me. I mean, this is me thinking kind of out loud about how I have this struggle in my basement with all this stuff. And I think that probably many of you out there probably suffer from the same issue. And if I can just push people a little bit towards trying to reduce, reduce some of the stuff you've got in your basement. I know it takes extra time and it takes time away from your hobby, but put that stuff on eBay. Let other people enjoy it. You know, if it sits in your basement in a drawer and doesn't see the light of day for 10 years at a time, that poor model, he's not happy. You know, he's, 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 he's sad sitting in the blister pack, you know, in the dark. So you should, you know, ship that model off someplace and get some dollars for it or whatever your currency is. And then you, that person might enjoy it. They may also just throw it in a drawer, which is bad, but you know, maybe on the other hand, they'll take it out, enjoy it, paint it, the whole deal. So, you know, really think of the models. Don't just think of yourself, but think of the models. They're, they're, they're sad in the drawer in your basement. And sometimes you just need to let them go.